From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning and welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. Here's a beautiful start and a beautiful view out of our camera in Kennewick. You can see lots of sunshine out there to start off your Monday and we will see a few more clouds arrive this afternoon as a weak front moves across the region. The sensor is back up and running in the Tri-Cities. We're sitting at 61 degrees there, 59 Connell, 58 at Hanford, 57 in Yakima, 55 Prosser and 58 degrees in Hermiston. So a mild start to the new work week. The wind speeds are anywhere between 5 and 10 miles per hour, a little bit stronger in Toppenish and Goldendale at this hour. But wind speeds are going to pick up for everyone as we get into the afternoon hours, and they're going to be especially strong across the Kittitas Valley. So Ellensburg, you are under a wind advisory for sustained winds, 25 to 35 miles per hour, gusting up to 50 at times. Now the rest of us, not under any advisory, but we could still see wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour. So it will be a breezy day. There are those clouds that pushed across the Tri-Cities a little bit earlier. Now we have those clouds impacting Dayton, Pullman down into Walla Walla and Pendleton. Clouds not bringing any rain. We're very dry. We just have an upper level disturbance swinging across the region with this dip in the jet stream. So we're going to have a weak front move in, bringing us cooler weather today. And we're watching this area of high pressure build to the south and west because tomorrow we'll see more sunshine and this area of high pressure really starts to take hold as we head toward the middle to end of the work week. So we start to heat things up Wednesday and Thursday before we see another cool down by the weekend. So the roller coaster ride of temperatures continues here. Here's what to expect this morning. Lots of sunshine once that batch of clouds pushes out and then we'll see more clouds this afternoon. We'll call it Partly cloudy to mostly sunny at times with highs in the low to middle 80s. Keep in mind, this is not going to be as hot as the 90s we saw this weekend, but we're still well above average for this time of year. And it will be a breezy day. 84 in Tri-City, 78 Walla Walla, that's nice. 82 in Hermiston, 80 in Prosser, and 78 degrees in Yakima. This evening, these clouds will be clearing out. So we'll see clearing overnight allowing temperatures to drop a little bit more. It's back to the chilly weather tomorrow morning. And with these clouds clearing out, I think we'll have a good opportunity to spot the ISS. And this is a great opportunity tonight because I think the weather will cooperate and the time of the pass is going to be while most of you are still awake. 927 tonight, the pass will last seven minutes, 81 degrees above the horizons. That's almost straight up in the sky above you. And it'll start off in the west-southwest sky and move to the east-northeast sky. So check that out if you remember and if you're going to be home. So tonight, once those clouds clear out, temperatures will be dropping into the upper 40s to near 50. It will be chilly again tomorrow morning. So don't think tomorrow morning is going to be as mild as this morning. Tomorrow afternoon, a pretty pleasant day. We'll put highs in the lower 80s, except for the foothills of the blues still in the 70s. So breezy today, not as breezy tomorrow. A touch cooler, 82, but then we heat things back up with that high pressure building in Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, we're getting close to 90 before our next cool down arrives this weekend. Yakima, windy today, 78, 80 degrees tomorrow, mid and upper 80s Wednesday, Thursday. Then the 70s are back. Walla Walla, 78 and breezy today. More sun tomorrow, 76, and then middle 80s Thursday. 82 and windy in Hermiston. Wind dies down tomorrow, and then we heat it up close to 90 on Thursday. Jessica.